different approach and mindset to how you add value. You know, because I think most of us in the training business, you you learned it a certain way, and that certain way was, well, you need to measure. Okay, so where are you going to start measuring? Well, you measure the easy stuff first. So you build a bunch of training, and you're hoping to hit a target, and you measure things like satisfaction, and did learning occur, and did a transfer, and all that. But what I learned out of that program is, tip it upside down, which is what I've done ever since, which is you start with what are the goals, mm, right? what is the strategy, where are your pain points, uh, and how about we focus on that, and all the other stuff will come along. But for right. years, I tried to connect a dot to a return on investment, and all of a sudden it was like, wait a minute, there's a lot of smart leaders in the organization who have already figured out what they need to do and what that ROI is. My job now is to tackle the people side of it and figure out, okay, what do your people need to do more, better, or differently to make that a reality? And that's how I've operated ever since. And it's just been a pretty significant mind, sh mind shift. Yes. You know, the footprint, it's 370,000 locations in almost every country in the world. And so... MoneyGram um, has 370,000 locations yeah. globally. Yeah, so I did not know that. One of the things that I loved about working with Pet, there's no way you could get anything done if you just operated in a silo. Absolutely no way. You had to build relationships. You had to collaborate in a very you know, intentional way. And the, the, the give and take was you wanted to drive revenue and you wanted speed to revenue. You wanted to ramp these agents up as fast as you can. At the same time, we had CFPB, Department of Justice, local regulators, multi-state regulators, constantly looking at the business to say, are you compliant with money laundering, anti-fraud, all these things, and to get these 370,000 locations and everybody who conducts a transaction in alignment with that, and not just in alignment, in absolute compliance with it, that was a huge undertaking. But that's why I went to MoneyGram, is because I've never been exposed to a global footprint like that. And it was a trip, it was fun. <laughs> well, then you get all your languages. Well, we had just basic uh, compliance training in 45 languages. Just? Because, <laughs> But the average American speaks barely one. <laughs>